back to my very own reading corner. So guys, today I'm going to be reading a book to you guys called What Holds Us to Earth? A Look at Gravity. So let's head on. So before we start reading, you guys can just pause the video if you guys want to take a look at the table of contents. Something is different. Look at this picture. Does something look out of place? You are right. This woman is floating in the air. How is that possible? The woman is an astronaut in outer space. People float in space because there's not much gravity there. Outer space has only a little bit of gravity. Astronauts call it microgravity. Micro means very little. A strong pull. Gravity is a force. It pulls things toward the center of Earth. A force is a push or a pull. A ball falls to the ground when you drop it because of gravity's pull. You cannot see gravity, but you can see how it affects things. It pulls on waterfalls. It pulls on falling leaves. It pulls a boy down a slide. Watch out! A plate will fall to the floor if you drop it. Gravity makes objects fall until something stops them. The hard floor will stop a dropped plate from falling, and gravity will keep the plate on the floor. So without gravity, the pieces of this broken plate would float away. Hey, batter, batter, swing. This batter hits the ball hard. The force of her bat is stronger than gravity. So the ball soars high in the air. A thrown baseball would fall to the ground if the force from a bat didn't make it soar. But wait, the force from the bat is weakening. Gravity is pulling the ball down. A player waits to catch it. So when a player catches a ball, he stops gravity from pulling the ball down to earth. Center of gravity. Gravity helps things balance. Everything has a center of gravity. A center of gravity is a balancing point. This model seesaw's center of gravity is at the center of the board. The seesaw can balance if it's supported at its center. So let's say you guys, let's say like I'm standing up. Let's say I'm standing up. And so let's say like um, the center of gravity will be like in the middle of me. So if I tip um, too much, then that means I will fall because the center of gravity is not balanced. Gravity pulls equally on an object's center of gravity. That's why objects can stay balanced if they're supported at this point. This pencil can stay balanced because it's supported at its center of gravity. Gravity in space. Gravity's pull helps us live on Earth. It keeps water from floating away. It lets things stay in place. Many people's drinking water comes from lakes and streams. If we didn't have gravity, this water would just float away. Other objects in space also have gravity. Objects with more mass have more gravity. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. The sun has a lot of mass. The sun's gravity is very strong. So, you know, the sun's very big, so that means it has a lot of mass, and it that means it's gravity strong because it holds all of the planets in our solar system. Keeps um, it keeps it um, orbiting around it. So that means its gravity is very strong. The moon has little mass. Its gravity is weak. So astronauts bounce and float when they walk on the moon, but they can they can still walk on the moon because it still has a little bit of gravity. So an astronaut Edgar Mitchell worked on the moon in 1971. What is weight? How much do you weigh? Your weight is how much gravity pulls on your body. This scooter weighs about 180 pounds or 82 kilograms. On Earth, you weigh less than this scooter. Gravity pulls on the scooter more. Imagine you visit the moon with the scooter. Both you and the scooter have the same mass as you did on Earth. You didn't lose any parts. But on the moon, the scooter weighs about 30 pounds, or 14 kg. You weigh even less. Since there's less gravity on the moon than on Earth, 
Things weigh less on the moon. Floating through life. Do you remember the astronaut at the beginning of this book? Astronauts need to learn how to live with little gravity. They need to learn to hold on to things in space or the things will float away. Astronauts even need to learn how to work upside down. Take a look around you. Gravity is everywhere. Can you imagine your life without it? So here's an activity you guys can do if you guys want to um, do it so you guys can pause the video and read the instructions to this activity. Here's also the glossary in case there were some words you might not have understood and you can find the definitions of them here by pausing the video. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video guys. So guys, I have one question for you guys and that is, can you guys define what gravity is or what it means? It doesn't have to be exact, but it can be in your own words. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in another awesome video. Bye guys!